<laughs> Good morning. I am going to try with Blue, which is that doggy there. She has a very high, uh, what would you call it? She has a high uh, prey drive. That's probably the best way of saying it. We've had her now for five years. She's about 14 years old. And today, I'll put on a lead and try and get her to chill with the chickens. Uh, she has had chickens in her mouth before, but she's always dropped them. And I've told her to drop them, basically because it's been a, uh, an accident. When you've got five dogs, sometimes it happens. She's never killed one. Although she can quite happily chase a bird in the countryside and catch it mid flight. So I'm very aware of how she is. My butt won't melt in her mouth, eh? Wish me luck. Blue. Don't need the chickens. Right? We're going to do blue. We'll put this off for now. Here. Good girl. We're not going anywhere. You can stay down. We're not going anywhere. Don't forget yourself. I know you see a lead and you think, oh, walkies. But we're not. We're just chilling out. We're just chilling out. Here's what we are. Hey girls, I know, you never meet Blue again. What do you reckon? You ready? You ready? Shall we make it easy? Let's make it easy. Ooh. Chicken food today is their favourite.
loves it. <coughs> Ellie. this morning.
been very good girl, anyway. Yes, you are. You've been a good girl. Yeah, coming in a minute. Blue. Enjoy your cucumber. Did you enjoy your cucumber? Cute.
she making that? I'll be cutting this glass in it, well. Mm -hmm. Yes, I am. Not bad for first stop. And then she's been able to see the chickens the entire time she's been here. She's And I always think it's it's good that uh, you can introduce food in a sharing manner like this. Food is always a good way of making friends, isn't it? As long as your friend isn't the food. <laughs> Are you? So I think now she's had long enough. I'm gonna. Let her go into the other garden and I'll let Ellie through because she is desperate to come and see the chickens. Oh, actually, I'll let, I'll let Blue have a little have a little wander around first. position. up close and personal. And we have Ellie. Ellie waiting very patiently. Good girl. But I think uh, I think it's all good. Keep it on a positive note without any negativity on this first little go. Go, go, below. We can uh, get the um, soil turned. That's what we need to do.
the floor is clean. Let's go and have a look at how many eggs we have this morning. I should have cut the tomatoes in half because uh, the chickens love them better and I didn't. And around here we have the morning three. A bad start. Okay, let's pop these in here for the time being. I have a fantastic pinny, but can't quite get it around my waist at the moment. So, meanwhile, we're just using a trowel. I think that might be it for the this morning so we have three at the moment and believe you me there is going to be more as the day goes on here we come lift up the there perching And they're still eating. <laughs> Ellie is anyway. All right, we're just going to turn the deep litter just to check for any more eggs and also to find out where the little bungee cord has gone for the ladder to keep it upright. And then I will put a bit of corn uh, in amongst it. So then the chickens will scratch in there and churn up the deep litter even more. There it goes. I'm just checking. I'm checking. Where's the bungee cord jump gone, eh? Where's it gone? ever put my fork through an egg? Yes. Have I stood on eggs? Yes. Uh -huh. You live and learn, don't you? Thank you. 
need a little egg box there for later. Because I know there's going to be more eggs. All right, scratch away, girls. Inside here is layers. I put a handful of corn in, mix it all up. So I can get a treat every now and again. Why not? Gorgeous eggs that they provide to us. Hi. Hello. Away there, Ellie. Hey, hey, Red. Oh, go, Red. Do you want a hand over? Hey, you're getting an old girl now, isn't it? Hey, come in. Come in. Good girl. There you go. Get your feet. There you go, big girl. There you are. Ah, good girl. Good girl, Red. Good girl. What do you like to do? Hey. Girl. Where's she gonna go, I wonder? What you can do, big girl? You are gorgeous, aren't you? Yes, you are. You are a gorgeous girl. Lettuce. Got a bit of lettuce. Or are you not bothered? Not bothered? As you just see, I think that was yellow. That just pecked her on the ear to say, no, this is our trait. <laughs> see what Red's gonna do. No, nope, she's just wandered around as well. Are you really gonna have a tomato, Ellie? Right, on that note, successful note with blue, I did the same thing with Ellie when we first had her, but her prey drive is pretty non-existent unless uh, 
unless blue is with her or any other high prey drive doggo because she definitely is a pack animal whereas our boy Spock he would literally run the other way So yeah, successful morning. Coop run cleaned. Coop turned and cleaned. Favourite food given. I'm going to have to get a knife and cut those tomatoes up. And out of all the different things I've done in this chicken run, just letting it be muck is the best thing I've ever done. Because <clears throat> you literally just turn the soil any poop that's on the top just goes underneath and it just composts down. How many of you have brought chicken poop pellets? <laughs> Same thing, just my chicken poop is fresh. But there you go. Hope you enjoyed the video. Hope you can see the calmness that I like with all my pets. And uh, yeah, cheerio for now.